Hello everyone, welcome along. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to put this out there straight away. If I if it comes across that I am shouting and I am really loud for you tonight, turn your things down. I I've basically almost 4 years to the day that, you know, but anyway, um Sarah's bug, whatever it is she's got and her mum's got, and it's finally broken through to me. So I was that's why I'm live, by the way, tonight. I was it was supposed to be pre-recorded, but I had absolutely zero energy yesterday, and I was dealing with so much stuff off the back of the book as well yesterday, uh, whilst trying to stop the ringing that is going through my ears. So if I'm loud, turn yourselves turn yourselves down a little bit because um I can't really get any sense of volume out of myself at the minute. Um but we will get started in about a minute and ten seconds time. Hello. Oh, you've no clothes on though, doofus. What are you doing? You you're making yourself comfortable? <laughs> I'll put my stuff down. Yeah, you're putting all your stuff down. Yeah. Ah, what's the name of that um of that ninja? Yeah. yeah. Ninja J. So Jack that way. Oh. Ninja J. So Jack's got a Jack got a um. A... Why is it blurry? Oh, it's just because you're too close to the camera. That's all. Um, so yeah, Jack got a Lego magazine when we went shopping yesterday evening, and he, Ninja J. yeah, and he he looked at the packet and it said that it's uh, the ninja is called Jay. So there you go, Lego Ninja Jay. Uh, and that means Daddy's a ninja. Well, I'm a ninja. Yeah, I mean I'm dressed like a ninja tonight. To be fair, but that's just trying to keep warm. Right, you're gonna show him that, and then I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your Lego rocket. Right, go on, Munchkin. You get yourself. Okay. Yeah. Can I start the quiz now? No. Why? <laughs> Why the Ninja Turtle is antique? I'm Lego Ninja. Yeah, because that's Colin who's watching the quiz and he can see your Lego and he's put those Lego memes on. Right, come. On. Why did he put Ninja Turtle dancing? I don't know. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. My quiz is bye bye. Right. What? Mummy wants you now. What? <laughs> Bed. Shut my door, please. No. Does anyone want a six year old? Back in a sec. I've got it. Honestly, the sass on that kid at the minute is unbelievable. Right, let I'll I'll I will i will i can not remember what I was gonna talk about, but well I'll get back to it later on. Um if you weren't with us on Thursday night as well, I'll talk about what you might have missed with regards to the book. Anyway, we'll come to that later on. Uh, welcome along everyone. It is Saturday the 23rd of March. It is live as well. Yeah, so it's Saturday the 23rd of March. Uh saved all of my energy for you. Well, I say that, saved all of my energy for you guys this evening, but then I did a whole batch cook of um spaghetti carbonara for Sarah earlier. Anyway, right, let's roll. Um it's kicking off with entertainment tonight, as we always do. Starting with this number one. Uh, Steven Tyler is the lead singer of which rock band? So Steven Tyler is the lead singer of which rock band? Mm, that's a good point. I need to take... Uh, number two, name the film from this quote, a census taker once tried to test me. I ate dot, 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 Not giving you the rest of it because it's far too obvious then. Uh, name the film, a census taker once tried to test me. I ate dot, 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 dot. I am still here. I'm just going to drop my camera out for a second because you don't want to see me trying to take tablets because I don't take tablets very well, but I've realised I'm half an hour. I'm supposed to take them at eight. So uh, I'll do the next question. I'm going to drop my camera out while I take my tablets. Uh, number three, which former SMTV Live presenter is now the new co-host on This Morning? So which former SMTV Live, host, uh, live presenter is now the new co-host on This Morning? Uh, 
Uh, hello to Kelly and Dan as well, who are sat in the pub playing the quiz along with uh, my very good friend, Bill. Um, I say very good, but good friend, Bill, because he puts me in racing cars. So, yeah, very good friend, Bill. <laughs> uh, number four, which singer had hits with Every Day is a Winding Road, Home, and the theme to James Bond, Tomorrow Never Dies? Number five, which actor has played Tony Blair, David Frost, Brian Clough and Sigmund Freud in the movie, in movies, in the movie, in movies. So which actor has played Tony Blair, David Frost, Brian Clough and Sigmund Freud in movies? Number six, which long running show starring David Mitchell was filmed from a point of view perspective? So which long running show starring David Mitchell was filmed from a point of view perspective? Number seven, which Dawson's Creek actress was married to Tom Cruise? Uh, which Dawson's Creek actress, actress even, was married to Tom Cruise? I think I might have just taken the night tablets out of this box. So if I suddenly like nod off in the middle of round four, um, just get someone to poke me. Uh, number eight, which Welcome to Wrexham TV star also plays Deadpool? So which Welcome to Wrexham TV star uh, also plays Deadpool? Uh, number nine, who wrote the operas The Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni? Who wrote the operas The Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni? Figaro, 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 Figaro. Is that the right one? Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. I don't know. I don't really know my operas. If someone said to me, you're going on a quiz about operas, that would be my, like, my kryptonite. I would not know anything. And finally, number 10, who sang It Wasn't Me in 2000? Which freaked me out when I realised this song is 24 years old. I'm 42 in two weeks, but that song is 24 years old. I was 18 when that film, that song came out. Round two with some science and nature for you this evening. Kicking off with this number one. The femur is a bone in which part of the body? So the femur is a bone in which part of the body? I've written so many questions this week to try and get ahead because I'm coming to London in a few weeks. And have I done, I've repeated that question tonight. I'm sure I have. Or did I, did I do it the other? Oh, I might have done a similar thing on Thursday. Right, okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, number two, in which country was the Enigma machine invented? So in which country was the Enigma machine invented?
Number three, what is the lightest metallic element in the periodic table? Check this three times as well. What is the lightest metallic element in the periodic table? Uh, number four, name the animal. Again, as always, I don't mean give them names. I mean, what is the name of the animal? I really should start wording it that way. What is the name of this animal? No, that still wouldn't be because people still start calling, calling them like Dave and Lucy and Sarah or whatever. At uh, number five, Tim Cook replaced whom as Apple's CEO? So Tim Cook replaced whom as Apple's CEO? Number six, somnambulism, 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 somnambulism is a which nighttime activity? Stop giggling in the back, please. Somnambulism is which nighttime activity? Uh, number seven, oology. Oh, uh, oology. Oology. Oology is the study and collection of which bird part? Zoology so, is the study and collection of which bird part? Just found out my mum and my brother have become like crazy pigeon people. They're feeding pigeons in their back garden. Crazy people. Not only that, they've named the individual ones as well. So, send in help. Uh, number eight, the current world population is above 8 billion. In which year did it cross 1 billion for the first time? Was it 1804, 1904 or 2004? So, the current world population is above 8 billion. In which year did it cross 1 billion for the first time? 1804. 1904 or 2004. Did that change? Nope. It's having to think about it. It's not sure. I'll try it again. There we go. Uh, number nine, in software engineering, which comes first, an alpha or beta test? So an alpha test or a beta test. So in software engineering, which comes first, alpha or beta test? Sorry, my mum has just corrected me. It's not the back garden. It's the front garden that they're feeding the pigeons in. I think that actually makes it worse, mum, because you're in the front garden. If it was the back garden, no one would really see you. So I think being like feeding the pigeons in your front garden might make you even crazier. Uh, and finally, number 10, hydrogen hydroxide is more commonly known as which abundant source? So hydrogen hydroxide is more commonly known as which abundant source? Uh, 
Uh, Blockbusters then to wrap up the first part of your quiz this evening. Number one, what BF can either be a mountain range in Germany or a Gatto? Not BF can either be a mountain range in Germany or a Gatto. And that is the, the Brenda Fricker pigeon meme is the exact thing that we described, Sarah and I described about my mum and my brother earlier. <laughs> Honestly, my family. <laughs> Number two, what RR is a no-bake slice made of milk chocolate and marshmallows? I've been really good. I've got a I've got a dairy milk caramel donut at the side of me. I've already had two, and there's three in the box. It was very good. I had two before I started the quiz. Uh, number three. What HG is the name of an exhibition basketball team? So, what HG is the name of an exhibition basketball team? Number four, what SI was the actual name of the crocodile hunter? So what SI was the actual name of the crocodile hunter? Number five, what MT led to the creation of the European Union? So what MT led to the creation of the European Union? Number six, what P P never ever wanted to grow up. So what P P never ever wanted to grow up. Number seven, what WT is a nickname for a handheld communication device? So what WT is a nickname for a handheld communication device? And number eight, what SE occurs when the moon passes in between the earth and the sun? My brain, it's just, it's just gone to an advert in my head. And if you know the answer to this, you'll probably get the same advert in your head as well. Although I think it, yeah. Uh, number nine, what CS is a short period of cold weather? So what CS is a short period of cold weather? And finally, number 10, what HH is someone trying to st uh, start again? What HH is someone trying to do when they stick out their thumb at oncoming drivers? So what HH is someone trying to do when they stick out their thumb at oncoming drivers?
There we go. That's your first then 30 questions for this Saturday night. They are up now on the website as usual on the JVPQ hub. Uh, so jvpqquestions.com or scan the QR code on the left hand side of your screen as you're looking at it now. And that will take you to the website. Um, I'm just going to take it down though. For, hang on, I'll leave it for a second. Three, two. I'll put it back up in a sec. Uh, if you weren't with us on, um, if you weren't with us on Thursday night and you haven't seen our socials, you may have missed this. Boom. Uh, so there we go. Um, this was announced. I managed to finally, after 18 months, I was allowed to announce this on uh, on Thursday night. Uh, so yeah, it is my autobiography. And thankfully, I'm not going to say too much about it tonight because I'm not going to, I don't want to cry my eyes out again. It took me till halfway through Friday to stop because I was reading all your beautiful and wonderful messages uh, about the book um, on Thursday nights after quiz post. So yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into this. Um, it is available to pre-order now. I was absolutely blown away by the amount of people who went in and pre-ordered it because we went into the top 100 on the Amazon chart and that's just Amazon so there's loads of other places and stuff that you can pre-order it so uh, yeah I was absolutely I've just staggered it's absolutely staggered by it so thank you so much for those of you for anyone who has so far um but yeah so it'll be out on the 16th of may um yeah i'll a lot of people were asking a few questions so we're going to cover some of those off um and then that way you guys have got the answers as well if you only play on a saturday uh right i'm going to take a short break as i always do let me go dumb and dumb so for your first break this evening the return of an only connect style grid so 16 words going to come up on screen put them into two into two put them into four sets of four connecting words there are some red herrings as always etc uh, so put them into four sets of four let me turn that one off breaks on uh, background audio do that do that and I'll see you in seven minutes oh no, there it is
Okay, I'll flip this slide over in a minute and put them into some order and tell you what they are as well. So we'll do that in just a moment's time. Uh, so yeah, a couple of the questions that I picked up on from uh, from the post on Thursday night. Uh, yes, there will be some form of events-wise signings and stuff like that. But right now, I don't know what they are. The marketing team, uh, we've got some interviews in the bag, but the marketing team are working very hard on trying to sort some stuff out. Uh, we're also going to try and potentially do something with connections as well and have um, some kind of... Uh, sort of you know uh, event there so, and they will be, hopefully fingers crossed touch wood and it also comes down to you guys as well if there's a call for it um that they will be around the country as well rather than in just one place so uh keep your eyes on on our socials if you're not following us on facebook and instagram which is where most things go make sure you're following us on there uh it shot up instagram over the last uh, sort of few days but yes keep an eye on what's going on there and I'll, um, you know, we'll, you guys will be the first to know when we get signing sorted. In fact, actually, no, I tell a lie. Uh, Patreons are going to be the, the Patreons will get a 24 hour window uh, for any events, it, like if it's limited capacity. So the Patreons will get um, the early window, 24 hours, and then it will go if there's any, you know, which there will be some left. Um, cause, uh, so then it will go out to everyone else, basically. Um, so yeah, that was, that was sort of the main thing, really, that I think most people wanted to know would there be some kind of sign? So yeah, there will be. I just don't know what they will look like at the moment so usually people like read from the book and then just sit there and sign everyone's books but i said i'd rather not read from the book and just do a quiz instead so we'll see what happens anyway right let's swap this over in three two one okie dokie right so your top four then across the top olive uh popeye brutus and wimpy are popeye characters uh <laughs> your second set sunflower vegetable palm and peanut are all oils then you've got Tim Hortons, Leon, uh, Nando's and Greg's. They are all fast food outlets. They're bringing Tim Hortons to within a couple of miles of me. They're putting one in Blackburn very, very soon. I think they've got planning permission. I don't want to be building it, but yeah, very, very happy. Uh, and then you find all lot. Wrist, thumb, knuckle and finger uh, are all hand parts. That's very disappointing. Everyone, I thought I might, the curveballs might have thrown people off, but the scores like, from those so far are people like getting them right, which is a bit of a shame. Thought I'd caught you all out tonight. Uh, right, the QR code in the top right hand corner that is that will take you to the links for the uh, for the book. I had it on screen after I announced it and stuff uh, when I was on talking. So yeah, that is the link. It'll take you to your chosen retailer. I think that's the right words to use. Um, so yeah, anywhere from Amazon, Water, uh, Waterstones, W H Smith, and I think there's some uh, private um private booksellers as well so uh that will take you to the list of all of those so head on over there and yeah the other question i don't think i don't think many people picked up on it um i am recording the audio for the audiobook as well so it will be me reading it yes so there you go uh yeah so that's the link that'll take you to it if you want to pre-order the book so there you go do 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 i'm gonna get me that one to there that one to there no that's that's little j we need big j back there we go that's better okie dokie right let's give you the answers then to the first 30 questions this evening uh starting with entertainment and number one uh steven tyler is the lead singer of which rock band aerosmith I could stay awake. Uh, number two, name the film. A census tried once, uh, Taker once tried to test me. I ate. Yeah, you know the rest of it. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Number three, which former SMTV Live presenter is now the new co-host on this morning? It's Kat Dealey. Number four, which singer had hits with Every Day is a Winding Road, Home, and the theme's James Bond, Tomorrow Never Dies, it's Cheryl Crow. I like that song. Every day is a winding road. Number five, which actor has played Tony Blair, David Frost, Brian Clough, and Sigmund Freud? It's Michael Sheen. It's like a chameleon. You can you throw a role at him and he can play anyone. Uh, number six, which long-running show starred David Mitchell? Uh, starring David Mitchell was filmed from a point-of-view perspective. It was Peep Show. Number seven, which Dawson's Creek actress was married to Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise, it was Katie Holmes. 
Number eight, a welcome to, which welcome to Wrexham TV star also plays Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. At number nine, who wrote the operas The Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni? It's Mozart. Uh, number 10, who sang It Wasn't Me in 2000? Shaggy. Uh, round two, Science and Nature number one, the femur is a bone in which part of the body? It's the arm. I think I did the owner the other day. Or it's coming and I've just given you an answer way ahead of that quiz. Uh, number two, in which country was the Enigma machine invented? Germany. Number three, what is the lightest metallic element in the periodic table? I've checked this three times, by the way. It's lithium. Number four, name the animal. Meerkat. Number five, Tim Cook replaced whom as Apple CEO? It was Steve Jobs. Number six, somnambulism is which nighttime activity? It's sleepwalking. Have I, hang on, whoa, 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 hang on, sorry, let me go back. Yeah, it's in the leg, sorry. Yeah, this is where I, I thought, I knew I was confused. Uh, I knew I was, see, I knew I was, I told you, I said there was something not right. There you go, I, I said there was something not right. Ugh. I even called it before I even got there. Yeah, I knew that. Do, 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 do. Right, okay. You're all caught up. Where did I get to? Uh, sleepwalking. Seven. Oology is the study and collection of which bird part it is eggs, which probably means I've put the owner, I've put the answer to the owner. I've put that as leg. Let's nice check that. Uh, number eight. The current world population is above 8 billion. In which year did it cross 1 billion for the first time? It was 1804. Mm. Number nine. In software engineering, which comes first, alpha or beta test? It's alpha. See, like this confuse. I always thought it was beta test first, and then you did then sort of a bigger alpha test, and then, yeah. And number 10, hydrogen hydroxide is more commonly known as which abundant source? It is water. Blockbusters, number one, what BF can be either be a mountain range in Germany or a ghetto? It's Black Forest. Number two, what RR is a no-bake slice made of milk, chocolate and marshmallows? Rocky Road. Number three, what HG is the name of an exhibition basketball team? It's the Harlem Globetrotters. Number four, what SI was the actual name of the crocodile hunter? Steve Irwin. Uh, number five, what MT led to the creation of the European Union? It was the Maastricht Treaty. Thursday, 28th of March. Uh, number six, what PP never ever wanted to grow up? It was Peter Pan. No, it's not Thursdays. Number seven, what WT is a nickname for a handheld communication device? It is walkie talkie. Uh, number eight, what SE occurs when the moon phases in between the Earth and uh, passes even between the Earth and the sun? It's a solar eclipse. It just reminds me of the um, Jaff Cake advert. Oh, oh, full, uh, half moon, full moon. So, but they say total eclipse, but I know what it meant. Number nine, what CS is a short period of cold weather? It's cold snap. And number 10, what HH is someone trying to do when they stick out their thumb at oncoming drivers? It is hitchhike. Could it be that? I have as well. It's next week. I have as well. Well, I've already given you an answer to next Saturday's quiz, but I have actually, I've put that down as leg. How have I got both? The ulna bone's connected to your wrist. No, your ankle bone, your femur bone's connected to your wrist bone. Right, talk your scores up. <laughs> Put your scores up. Let me know how you're getting on. 30 possible points available for you so far this evening. Oh dear.
femur bones connected to your shoulder bone, your ulnar bones connected to your skull. I'm going to pretty fire that QR code, by the way, for next week, but I just haven't had a chance. Uh, right, still to come, connections round and general knowledge as well. So, yeah, when you get to question six next week, because it is pre-recorded because I'm in York on Sunday morning. Uh, but when you get to question six next week, um, I may have put the wrong answer. No, I'll, have, I'll, I'll fix that before then. At least you know what the answer is now. Okay, right, let's roll. Uh, round four, connections then. Nine questions. Question number 10. What uh, what links all of the answers together? Uh, get your Easter eggs at the ready. Let's start with this, number one. Complete the phrase to make what meat? I've given you no context to that whatsoever, so you'll have to... Mm, yeah, it's a familiar phrase. I think. When you get the connection, you'll be fine. Number two, which activity is to free a room from dirt? So which activity is to free a room from dirt? Number three, name the character pictured here. <laughs> oh, comment of the night goes to the mole and Colin. <laughs> oh, free the room from dirt, hire a maid. <laughs> Number four, what S is a hard, solid, non-metallic mineral of matter of which a rock is made? Not Dwayne Johnson, the rock. I mean, something else, you know. What S is a hard, solid, non-metallic mineral of matter of which a rock is made? But to be fair, he's probably built of this as well. I don't think I'd ever like to meet him because I'd go to shake his hand and he'd probably break it into about four pieces. Number five, what is the name of water that is frozen into a solid state? So what is the name of water that is frozen into a solid state? Number six, complete the name of the dish that is filled with ice cream sauce and nuts. It's called a banana what? So complete the name of the dish that is filled with ice cream sauce and nuts. It's called a banana what? Number seven, what is the name of a brush with a long handle and bristles? So what is the name of a brush with a long handle and bristles? Train. Number eight, what is the name of an enclosed area for skating and ice hockey? So what is the name of an enclosed area for skating and ice hockey? Number nine, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw are the names of what in the Harry Potter franchise? Gryffindor. 
The Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw are the names of what in the Harry Potter franchise? I can feel Easter eggs being launched at the screen right now. I can sense it. And as always, question 10, what links those nine answers together? Jebral knowledge then to wrap up this evening's quiz, starting with this, number one. Which of these countries does not have a North Sea coastline? Is it Denmark, Germany, France or Sweden? So which of these countries does not have a North Sea coastline? Denmark, Germany, France or Sweden? Number two, what is the alcohol base of a daiquiri? So what is the alcohol base of a daiquiri? Train. Bottom, 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 bottom. Number three, Boston is the capital and most popular city of which US state? Oh, yeah, it reminds me. I forgot about that part of the book. Yeah, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, so Boston is the capital and most populous city of which US state? Number four, who has won the Ballon d'Or more times? Cristiano Ronaldo, Johan Cruyff or Lionel Messi? So who has won the Ballon d'Or more times? Cristiano Ronaldo, Johan Cruyff or Lionel Messi? Number five, which animal were Romulus and Remus said to be first raised by? Which animal were Romulus and Remus said to be first raised by? Number six, in the novel, A Tale of Two Cities, which is the first city to be mentioned? So in the novel, A Tale of Two Cities, which is the first city to be mentioned? Again, I read the first couple of pages to find the first of the two cities that it's the book's about to find the first mention. Uh, number nine, hypoxia is a state when enough, uh, what isn't available? So hypoxia is a state when enough, what isn't available? Number eight, the Latin phrase carpe diem translates as to seize the what? So the Latin phrase carpe diem translates as to seize the what? Number nine, according to Shakespeare, what is said to be the food of love? Uh, 
So according to Shakespeare, what is said to be the food of love? And your final question tonight. Number 10, heffalumps are which animal in the Winnie the Pooh book series? So heffalumps are which animal in the Winnie the Pooh book series? Those final two are now up. The final two rounds are now up on the hub. So head on over there as it says on screen. So head on over there if you need a recap on those final 20 questions or want to have a look at the picture again or anything like that. So head on over to there now, should you want to do that. Uh, just the last thing on the book uh, for tonight. Um, it is only available in the UK and Commonwealth territories. OK, um, so we haven't got the rights to sell it in America or what have you. If because I know we've got quite a few American people who do watch and play the quiz. If you're in America and you want a copy of the book, get in touch through the socials because I can then send that to the publishers and say, look, you need to get this sold over there as well. Um, but without that, I've got no way of sort of being able to say to him, you know, it will do OK in America. You need to sell it. So if you are outside of the UK and Commonwealth, get in touch with us on our socials and we'll see what we can do. Uh, right. Your final break is ooh, I nearly put the answers on again. Uh, your final break is dingbats. As always, let me close that off. Put that on. Put that on and see you in seven minutes. Say what you see.
Okay, answers then in a moment's time. So get your final put answers put down for this. Uh, just to let you know, Thursday, this Thursday coming, is the four-year anniversary. Uh, the official... I can't get my calendar up quick enough. Uh, 23rd, where are we? Uh, yeah, the official four-year anniversary. The anniversary of the quiz is 26th. Uh, so that's Tuesday. Uh, I'll mark it somehow on socials. I don't know how yet. Uh, but yeah, so the so yeah, yeah, Tuesday is the official four year anniversary. So we'll celebrate it on Thursday night, on Thursday the 28th. Uh, now, usually, as I said this on Thursday, usually what I do is I go back and I bring the first ever quiz back and see, you know, how did you do? How many of them have you remembered? Uh, but there's that very, very evil round in there with the whole guessing of the date stuff and things like that. So I'm not going back to to the first quiz, but I am going back to an old quiz. So it's still a case of maybe see how you did. Or if you've only been with us for a little while, then it's going to be completely new to you. Uh, I have put my own little twist on it because there was a round in there that I couldn't use. Uh, so I have put my own little twist on it as well. So there is a whole new round. So it's not just completely looking back. There's a whole new round put in there as well for uh, for Thursday night, which is the connections round, because there hasn't, there, you know, back in the early days, there wasn't actually a specific connection round for round four. So, yes, yeah, so that is to come on Thursday night. Let's give the answers to these then in three, two, one. Boom. Oh, I didn't change. There we go. Uh, so, number one is Wheel of Fortune. Number two, Odd One Out. Uh, number three, Out of Date. Number four, Skinny Dipping. Uh, number five, rub the wrong way. Uh, number six, too big for your boots. Number seven, back to the future. Number eight, have the last word. Number nine, Popeye again, spinach. Right, just while you're finishing off those, um, yeah, just while you're finishing off those, um, just a very quick question. The YouTube live chat's on, and obviously the Jeb Bull Nut Jobs Discord server on Patreon as well. Oh, the Patreon Discord server is open as well. Um, I've got an eye test on Tuesday. It's my two year eye test, and I'm not going to name the company that I'm going for, uh, but they have a one month free trial of uh, contact lenses, and it's something I've always thought of. But I don't know how tricky and difficult it is because the glasses I get, I don't want to get too big frames. But these, like, for example, I can see under, see here. And I think it's part of the reason why I'm getting my headaches. I'm seeing things at different visions. So are contact lenses, the question I've got, are contact lenses OK? Are they relatively easy to do, to use and to put in? Because I've never had to do anything like putting anything in my eye and stuff like that. Um, but it's something I'm considering. So if you just drop something in the live chat or into uh, the Discord server and let me know. Uh, just so I can consider it between now and talking to him on Thursday when I go, Tuesday, even when I go to get my eye test. Uh, super. Thank you for that. Uh, right. Uh, let's just close that one off and put that one on and ping that across. Right. Let's give you the answers then to the final part of the quiz. Um, here we go. Round four. Connections. Number one. Uh, complete the phrase. It's to make ends meet. Number two, which activity is to free a room from dirt? It is clean. Number three, name the character. It is Sweep of Sooty and Sweep fame. Number four, what S is a hard, solid, non-metallic mineral of matter of which a rock is made? It is stone. Number five, what is the name of water that is frozen into solid state? It is ice. Number six, complete the name of the dish that is filled with ice cream, sauce and nuts. It is banana split. Number seven, what is the name of a brush with a long handle and bristles? It's not brush, it's broom. You think about the answers in the question, you eat. No. <laughs> you know, I was very proud of myself. I picked up a mistake in general knowledge, which I wasn't going to tell anyone about. So I was very proud of myself uh, for picking up on that mistake. And then I've missed the easy bits. Uh, number eight. What is the name of an enclosed area for skating and ice hockey? It is rink. 
Number nine, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw are the names of what in the Harry Potter franchise? They are houses. And what links them all? It is curling. Oh, too far. Uh, general knowledge, number one. Which of these countries do not have a North Sea coastline? It is Sweden. Number two, what is the alcohol base of a daiquiri? It is rum. And number three, Boston is the capital and most popular city of which US state is Massachusetts. What is that right? Okay, I was just thinking the time. Having too much fun tonight, obviously. Uh, number four, who has won the Ballon d'Or more times? It's Lionel Messi. Number five, which animal were Romulus and Remus said to be first raised by? It's wolf. Number six, in the novel, A Tale of Two Cities, which is the first city to be mentioned, it's London. Number seven, hypoxia is a state when enough what isn't available, it's oxygen. Number eight, the Latin phrase carpe diem translates as to seize the day. Uh, number nine, according to Shakespeare, what is said to be the food of love? It is music. If music be the food of love. And finally, number 10, heffalumps are elephants or based on elephants. Harry Potter fans, please, uh, Harry Potter fans, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh fans, please don't shout at me. Based on elephants. Uh, right. OK, talk your scores up. Let me know how you have got on this evening if you need a tie-breaking question it is thus uh what is the length in centimeters of a standard table tennis table so what is the length in centimeters of a standard tennis table tennis table uh thanks for all your comments around contact lenses very much appreciate all of those um the main real point sort of of it um is for things like playing pool because like when you're down, you're looking and I see over the top and just a couple of other purposes as well. I'm still going to get a pair of glasses to go with them uh, for other reasons. But yeah, thank you very much for the comments. Although um, most of you are sort of pro contact lenses and I've just had a, mo a message from my mum saying I hated them. Call me. <laughs> so I'll <laughs> speak to later on. Um, but yeah, so I'll, um, I'll have a look. I mean, I might not get on with them, but if there's a free trial, at least I can sort of have a go and see how I get on. I don't even know how I'll look without. I mean, um, yeah, that, yeah. I couldn't even see, to be fair. I couldn't even see the screen, so I don't know. Anyway, right, your answer to this then is three, two, and one. 274 centimetres is the length of a standard table tennis table. So there you go. Right, there we go. That is it then for this evening. Thank you very much for joining us on this Saturday night. Um, and thank you very much for putting up with me like, being not really here tonight because... Like I say, this bug sweeping through Darwin at a rapid rate of knots. Um, but yeah, so uh, live with you next Thursday night. Like I say, four year anniversary next Thursday. So live with you on Thursday night with that. So if you can, if you are around, come and celebrate with us. Come and, re you know, reminisce if you were with us right there back in the beginning as well. Uh, so come and have a lot. Have, come along and play on Thursday night. If not, I will see you next Saturday night. Like I said, it is pre-recorded because next uh, next weekend, uh, Sarah, Jack, and I are in York at the Model Railway um, Model Railway Exhibition. So we're over there. So it is pre-recorded next week, no matter what happens. Although I've got four quizzes to pre-record next week, uh, but I will explain all on Thursday night as to why that is happening. Because uh, two weeks to uh, a week on Thursday will be pre-recorded, but we'll get to that. Uh, that is it for me. I will see you all soon, as always for me. Uh, it's that one there, and it's that one off. And oh, hello, what's going on here? What's that? Ooh, that's weird. So I'm just trying to set the end up and it's gone a bit weird. There we go. We'll just do that. Uh, that's it for me. I'll see you soon. As always, take care and stay safe.